So hello, what is up everybody? I have some more X and Y news for you. Uh, there's not a lot of information, but I do have some information regarding the starters and hmm, some never new Pokemon and yeah. Well, let's just see what we have, shall we? First of all, for the starter Pokemon, well, Chespin's evolution, Harry Bugo, is to be called Quill Adden. That's the English name, Quill Adden. Um, Fennekin's evolution, T Runa, is to be called Braxen. I think that's right, Braxen. And Froakie's evolution, Gecko Gashira, is to be called Frogadier. I like these names, and I'm still curious of what the second typing is going to be. Uh, I'm just speculating that Chespin is grass and rock. I really hope it is, because that's, that's, that's like a whole unique typing to me, you know? And also, I guess Froakie could be flying in water, I don't know. The thing on its neck looks like a uh, kind of cloud shape to me, even though it's supposed to resemble bubbles, I think. It looks like it could be a cloud too. I mean, it's white and everything, and it has white designs on it. You never know, it could just be water, pure water, or maybe ice type. I'm not sure. The flying could be a good type for it, and Fennekin's... Um, second evolution, it's just fire type, but I'm guessing when it's fully evolved, maybe it's fire and psychic. I think that's what many people speculate by now, but you never know. Um, next are the fossil Pokemon. Chico Rasu is to be called Tyrant, which is the T-Rex Pokemon. Um, its ability, its ability Strong Jaw, retains its name. Amarasu, the other fossil Pokemon, is to be called Amara, with its ability is to be Refrigerate. Tyrant is obtained with the Jaw Fossil and Omara with the Sail Fossil. Well, I guess I'll be getting the Sail Fossil because I really like the, I the, the idea and the design of Aura, uh, Ar Omara. What's its name? I forget already. <sighs> well, I'm going to pick that one anyway. Amara. Okay. The customizable dog Pokemon, Tormain, is to be called Turafu. While it's a bit of the Third Coat retains its name. Its move, Baby Doll Eyes, which moves first and lowers the opponent's attack. That sounds like a pretty good move, I guess. The process to customize it, it is called trimming. So, be sure to watch out for trimming in Pokemon X and Y. I, I will be. I'm going to be raising that dog. I'm going to be raising it. I, can't, I, want to, I want to catch it, raise it, groom it, do whatever. I just, it's so adorable and all that, you know? And the cat Pokemon, Nyan Onikusu something. Nyan Okoso is to be called Meow Stick. That's a nice name, I guess. Um, also, Mega Mewtwo X has an increased attack stat. Mega Garchomp has an increased attack stat and special attack stat also. But its speed is lowered, so... That's not great for it. I mean, also, a lot of Pokemon with the Mega item, with their Mega Elite, like Garchomp Elite, or Mawa Elite, Blaziken Elite, whatever. The Mewtwo Elite X, Mewtwo Elite Y, and all that. They can't use held items, they can't use Scarf and all that, so speed could be a problem here. And also healing themselves of recover, I mean, uh, leftovers and all that, and life orb, and getting power boosts from items such as life orb, they can't do that anymore. But they have Mega, so they can't really complain, I guess. And also Pyroar, the lion Pokemon, which was leaked accidentally on IGN, IGN the other day, and other sites, um, the images they were sent from Nintendo, and video they sent from Nintendo, um, is now pretty much confirmed. Pyroar is the evolution of Little Leo, the lion Pokemon. I think it's fire and normal type. And it has two forms, male form and female form. I think it's pretty much the same Pokemon. It's just like catching a Basculin, really, I guess. The red and blue stripes form. Or maybe it's like seeing a male Pikachu and a female Pikachu in the wild. Only their appearances are very different. It's like Pikachu, female, has the heart on its tail, you know? And the male is just regular, awesome tail shape, I guess. <laughs> um, also, in Global Link news, it will have a mobile-friendly version. Season 1 of the ranked matches will be done with single battles using only Pokemon in the Kalos Pokedex and runs from December. So that's a lot of Global Link stuff going on there. Oh, and the most amazing news <laughs> they have done yet today. Some more changes regarding types have been announced, that's right. Ghost types are no longer affected by moves that prevent fleeing, such as Mean Look. And also, that's that's great. I mean, Ghost Pokemon now have an advantage. 
that's not cool. That would be cool for Honich, because Honich has gained two weaknesses, Dark and Ghost, since Steel is now not resisting Dark and Ghost. But it'll still be awesome, I think. I bet Ho I think Honich, st the Sword, Steel, and Ghost Pokemon will have good attack, like pretty, maybe very good attack, good speed, probably good defense, but maybe bad HP, special attack, and special defense. It could have good speed, you never know. It is, it is a sword after all, but and then again, swords are kind of heavy sometimes, so maybe regular speed or bad speed, I'm not sure. But it could be good speed. Uh, also, grass Pokemon can't be seeded or affected by moves such as Sleep Powder or Stun Spore. Which is awesome, They can't, that's good for Venusaur. Mega also, Mega Venusaur now has even more it can't be hurt with. Because it has the thick fat ability, you know? And it's just awesome to me. I love its design. Not many people do like Mega Venus, I think. But I really do. I love it. All the trees on it and everything. All the plants. Yeah. <laughs> I like those kind of Pokemon. And also, electric types can no longer be paralyzed. Which is even more amazing news. That's pretty much along the lines of poison Pokemon not being able to be poisoned. And I like that idea. X and Y is going to be really interesting, I can tell you that. So many new features, so many different, so many changes to battling, you know, so many new animations, trainer customizations, Pokemon customizations, 3D sprites, awesome music, I bet, because music is always awesome in Pokemon games, especially Hoenn and Sinnoh, they have the best music soundtrack to me, in my opinion, and also Johto too, but you know, all, all of them really, you know, you know, over in Kanto are cool too, and yeah, also many features. Yes, Marilyn mentioned you can sit on benches, <laughs> and um, yeah, the Pokemon look amazing. I love every single X and Y Pokemon I've seen so far. That is me being honest. I love every single one I've seen. So yeah, I hope you enjoy them all too. Um, and also, finally, in my new section here, which has just been going on and on. You can also record 10 second videos at the Trainer PR Studio, which is obviously a new feature they have in Kalos and X and Y, so I guess check that out when you can. And yeah, I hope you enjoy all this stuff that they're giving us in X and Y. And yeah, that's all I have for today. That's probably the only X and Y news for a while until the game comes. The game comes out pretty soon, so maybe no more Coral Coral Leaks, you know? Maybe Nintendo will announce some more news, because Nintendo apparently are going to announce some news on Monday. It may may or may not be Pokemon related, but they're going to be announcing something on Monday uh, on their direct thing, I think. I think it's on their direct line, on online and all that, or at an announcement conference thing, I'm not sure. But Nintendo will be announcing something, and I hope you all enjoy whatever they have in store. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this all today, and I'll be back whenever there are more news updates, I promise. I promise! So yeah, until then, I'll keep bringing you more random battle videos of me, hopefully winning some. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will be back soon, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be back soon. Hope you all enjoyed. So long. <laughs>